Hey, Jimmy's and um, welcome back to Let's Play Broken Resort Shadow of the Tempest the Darks' Cat. Now, before I play, I just want to apologise for not uploading at all for a while. I was really busy with a with a project of mine. It's yeah, just for and I had no time to record. Just took a lot, just took a lot away of my time. And I've been busy most of this week as well. Okay. But by next. Next week it should go back to normal. I'm not com completely busy right when I'm recording this, as you can see why my weird how I'm having my head. I need to record some. So let's... Okay. I've forgotten where I am. <laughs> I figured going out into the countryside was a pretty good way to get lost. Hi, what's your name, sir? Hello, hello, you buy kebab. Muscul. What do you think of this? Buy kebab? Come to the... Well, goodbye. Have a nice day. Most good. Well, they definitely look shady. Muruba! Hello, sir! Does this mean anything to you? Yes, yes! Carpets, yes? Ma asalama! It was the pattern. I'd seen that pattern somewhere recently. Hello, sir! Lovely carpet! Does this matchbook mean anything to you? Ah! Give to me! Give to me! Allah Mut! Where are we? Many beneficent greetings, my most fortunate possible friend. Huh? Do I know you, mister? No! No! And again I say, no, but my friend, do you not see our mutual good fortune in this meeting? How frank do you want me to be? You are a traveler, yes? Boy, you must be the world's greatest detective. No, I am told that is Sherlock Holmes of the big forehead and slipper full of shag. I, as contrast, am world's greatest luxury taxi driver. I can see where this is going. I am Ultar. Taxi driver and luxury guide per excellent. Yes. This I had to hear. Where does your heart desire to go? Simply mention the name to your obedient servant and we shall fly there, swift as the eagle. Oh, well, I don't really want to leave Marib yet, but I'm sure that if I do, you'll be the first to know. Is good. You know where you want to go, you come to Ultar. Thanks. See you around, Ultar. Be having a pleasant day, full of shining experiences and happiness, my friend. That was interesting. Hi. Nice club you've got here. I was wondering if you could help me. What? I mean, I beg your pardon? I'm sorry, but I don't understand. No surprise there, all righty. 
He says sorry, but he not speak English. Uh, but he didn't say anything. He not have tongue. No tongue? What happened? It was bet. Ah, and he lost. He won. You should see other chappy. Oh, yes. Then I don't want to know what game he was playing. There wasn't much point in trying to launch an in-depth conversation when I couldn't speak Arabic and he couldn't speak. Period. Hello again, Ultar. Praise be to Allah. I am blessed with your bountiful presence once more. Do you know anything about the Templars? Of course. Yes? What can you tell me? Great Shebop band of the 60s. Uh, no, n that's not really... Who put the bop in the bop, 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 bop? Yeah, <laughs> like eternal <laughs> questions. Have you seen this man before? Oh, most certainly. Was here only yesterday. Here? Yesterday? My God, he's close. Yes, he was asking a lot of questions, just like you. What did he ask about? He asked about American called Stobie. Stobart? Yes, Stobart. You know him. The killer knew my name. What else did he ask about? He asked about a German man called Klobner. I tried to remember the name of the man the conspiracy had lost in Syria. Was his name Klausner? Sure, that is what Oltar said. Klausner. I told this man in the picture, Klausner wanted to go up to Bull's Head. Hold on, he wanted to go where? Bull's Head. Big hill, ten mile out of town. Maybe sixty. When was that? Oh, maybe a week ago. What can you tell me about this Bull's Head Hill? It's most magnificent, lovely views. Worth visiting, yes, by indeedity. How do I get there? No. Let me guess. You need fine luxury guide to take you there in air-conditioned taxi. Woe is me. Where can I find such a guide? And Ultar is most luxurious guide for most literally some way. In any direction. Gee willikers, lucky old me. Are you desirous of my pleasant and luxuriant service? All right, let's go. First, I regret the formalities. A trip to the bull's head. Fifty Yankee dollars, please. Fifty bucks? I don't have fifty bucks. Oh, most unhappy event. Ultar then sorry, but he cannot take you on ride of lifetime. Hold on, Ultar. Is there nothing I could barter with you? Word that it was so, beloved friend. But my taxi needs gas, and its muffler needs the muffler doctor. Trading for these things is not possible. My heart weeps for the injustice, but it's bucks or zip, or oh, unfortunate American. What do you make of that boy in the market, Nejo? Nejo? Ha! Ayub's boy is too big for sandals. I speak splendid English and he laugh. He say, Ultar, you big ox, you split infinitive. I say, I split your head if you stay still long enough. Ha 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 ha! Ho 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 ho! Pretty funny, yes? Hilarious! You should be on cable. Shake my hand, Ultar. Ha <laughs> ha! Remind me of thing that happened month ago. Maybe six. Man come up to Ultar, say, Shake hands, Ultar. But man have electric buzz thing in his hand. Ha <laughs> ha! How we laughed! Then I broke his arms. I didn't think electrocuting the big Syrian was a good idea. What do you think of this? Is gadget. It's a blood pressure gauge. Blood pressure gauge. Is what Ultar said. See you around, Ultar. May good fortune follow you, mister. I hadn't felt a need to spit since I was 12. Mm, 
Ja. Hi, Nijo. Hello again, sir. And how may I help you this time? Is that your father lurking in the back of the stand? He is indeed. A roaring fellow. Ayuk's his name. You don't sound like you respect him very much. Don't I? Not only do I respect him, I rather like him. For all his bluster, we get on very well. I met an interesting guy earlier, a cab driver. Ah, that would have to be Uta, a barbaric sort of chap. Oh, he's not that bad. You know how he speaks in pidgin English? That's how he speaks in Arabic too. Who's the guy selling the kebabs? Oh, that's Arto. A miserable blighter to be sure, sir. He doesn't seem very happy. He never is. Day in, day out, a face like a wet Wednesday. Whatever one of those is. Does he speak any English? Not cogently, no. What do you know about that couple? Oh, they're American. Is that all? The chap's a little odd. As for the lady, it's a funny thing. But I get the impression she's a lot cleverer than she's letting on. Hmm. So long, Nijo. Poodle peep, sir. How did this guy make a living selling you? Hello again, Pearl. Why, hello, George. It's such a pleasure to see you again. Have you ever heard of a hill called the Bull's Head? No. No, I haven't. Is it nearby? I'm not sure. Sounds awful romantic. The Bull's Head Hill. Have you met the taxi man, Ultar? Heavens, yes. What a big man. Very muscular. But you didn't go for a ride. Why, George, you're absolutely the most... Oh, you mean a taxi ride? No. Dwayne wasn't interested, so it didn't happen. Is your husband around, Pearl? Well, as a matter of fact, yes. Have you talked to the boy on the bric-a-brac stand? Oh, you've met him? His name's Nijo, you know. Oh, he's just so cute, I could die. I'd love to bundle him up and take him back to Ohio. He might not thank you. I'm looking for something ancient, you know. Something to impress the folks back home. The poor boy was trying to do his best, but we still haven't found anything. I've got to go now, Pearl. It's been a pleasure, George. Don't be a stranger. Hi, uh, I was wondering whether you could help me. Why, sure, son. Always got time for a fellow American. The name's Henderson. Dwayne Henderson. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Henderson. Hell, boy. I'm not in the office. Call me Dwayne. Oh, okay. Dwayne? My name's George Stobart. Have you ever heard of a hill called the Bull's Head? Can't say as I have. Where's that? I don't know. I'm trying to find out. Bull's Head, huh? You must remember that. Sounds scenic. Do you think bulls have any significance around here? Weird question, George. Nope, I don't think they have. Have you met Ultar? Almost luxurious air-conditioned taxi ride, mister. Yeah, the cabbie. Tried to pull a bunco on us. Take us on a wild goose chase off into nowhere. 
You're a long way from home, Dwayne. Could say the same about you, George. Me? Well, I'm just sightseeing, that's all. Without a camera? Kinda lags to come all this way and not take pictures. Mind if I take a picture of you, George? What? Why? Ow! You could've warned me. You don't mind, do you, George? The folks back home will be real interested. What awesome guy you just found them looking at. I saw a medieval picture of a woman. Royalty or nobility, something like that. She was looking in a mirror, but the reflection was of a man with three faces. What do you think of that? I think you should be in therapy. Have you talked to Nijo? Nijo? He's the youngster on that jump stand, right? Yeah, we met him. He's a smart kid. Speaks four languages, and he's never had a day's formal education. He should go far. Kept trying to peddle garbage on us, though. You're not gonna find much worthwhile around here. I know that, and you know that. But try telling Pearl. She reckons there's antiquity in them door stands. Okay, well, I'll see you around, Wayne. Count on it, George. Hello again, Pearl. Why, hello, George. It's such a pleasure to see you again. I met your husband earlier. He's an interesting man. That's why I married him. I met your husband. He's an in- That- hmm. I've got to go now, Pearl. It's been a pleasure, George. Don't be a stranger. He's an interesting man. That's why I married him. I met your husband. He's an in- That- hmm. I've got to go now, Pearl. It's been a pleasure, George. Don't be a stranger. Damn, the door... Uh, I'm sorry? He say you... Matey? It lose something in translation. Hello again, Ultar. Praise be to... Have you met the American couple? Have Ultar met them? Have Ultar met them? Yes, Ultar have met them. And? The most ungenerous. Ultar offer to show them wonders of countryside. They say, is there anything ancient? Ultar say, yes, of course, nature is ancient. They say, no, anything ancient made by men. And Ultar say, have you seen taxi? Fan belt older than Ozymandias. Ha 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 ha! But they gone. What do you know about the kebab seller? A most miserable man. Ultar say, cheer up, matey mate, it might never happen. And he say, shut up, Ultar. Fancy that. Not at all. Arto has face like the drizzle that falls on the midweek afternoon. Whatever that is. This place is certainly hard to find. Oh, yes, it is most exclusive. The membership can be no more than... Hmm... Kind sir. What would you guess the population of the village to be? Gee, I don't know, a couple of thousand? Then I would estimate the membership to be no more than a couple of thousand. Well, I still don't have any cash on me, American or otherwise. Oh, unfortunate, most extreme. The delights of the Bull's Head Hill then must wait, I fear. Hmm, maybe not. What do you think of this ball? 
is most splendid, mister. Well, I still don't have any... Oh, the dela... See you around, Ultar. May good fortune follow you, mister. Hello, sir. Lovely carpet. Ma asalama. By staring hard at the notice and squinting, I discovered I couldn't understand a word of it. Hello again, Ultar. Praise be to Allah. I am blessed with your bountiful presence once more. Could you tell me what that sign means? It's a door stay shut until brush come back. Signed, the management. Oh, well, what does that mean? Manager buy lovely new toilet brush, leaves it by wash basin for ten minutes, come back, it been stealing. Stolen. Not even out of wrapper. He damn cross. Lock up toilet and say, nobody use fine pristine toilet until brush given back. We say, what we do till then, eh? He say, cross legs and use superior willpower. And that's what you've been doing? No. Ultar use bucket. See you around, Ultar. May good fortune follow you, mister. Hello, sir. Lovely carpet. Ma asalama. The carpet seller had an impressive collection of wares. If I had the time and the money, I might have bought a couple of rugs. Hi, Nijo. Hello again, sir. And how may I help you this time? So long, Nijo. Toodle pip, sir. I hadn't come all this way to seek out curios. As I didn't see the point of going all the way over there to get scratched, I stayed where I was. The stand was hawking ancient machine parts. He didn't have anything that I needed. Hello again, Pearl. Why, hello, George. It's such a pleasure to see you again. I've got to go now, Pearl. That's been a... <laughs> Hi there, Dwayne. Hi there, George. How can I help you, young fella? Do you mind if I ask? Okay. Do you know the knights? Yep. Nope. Nothing at all. Well, you knew they were. What I know and what I say are two different things, boy. I haven't lasted as long as I have in this business without knowing that. In this business? Sure. The greetings card business. Oh, please. 
Okay, well, I'll see you around, Dwayne. Count on it, George. Suddenly, I realized the horrific truth. The guy was basting the kebabs with a toilet brush. Does this mean anything to you? No, no, you buy a kebab. Well, goodbye. Have a nice day. Most good. Hello again, Ultar. Praise be. See you around, Ultar. May go. The stand had kebabs dangling from the canopy. As a marketing device, it lacked something. Hello again, sir. Hello. Kebab? Mmm. Yes. I'd value your opinion on this, sir. Nah, you buy... What do you make of this, sir? You buy kebab. You buy kebab. Yum, most good. What do you think of this? Buy kebab? Come to the... What do you make of this? You buy kebab. What do you make of... You buy kebab. I'd va- Nah! Well, goodbye. Have a nice day. Most good! Hi, Nijo. Hello again, sir. And how may I help you this time? Look, this is going to sound a bit strange, but I need Arto's brush. What? The brush he bastes the kebabs with? Yes. Let me find some dirty postcards for you instead. Nijo, this is serious. Arto stole that brush he's using from a friend, and I want to get it back. Perhaps I could help you, old chap. Uh, maybe? Perhaps? Maybe what? Perhaps what? I do not wish to see mercenaries, sir, but uh, I am a merchant, and merchants trade. Merchant? This isn't Sears and Roebuck here. Well, if you're going to be disagreeable... No, no, you're right. Uh, what would you like? What have you got? Here, shake hands, Nijo. I'd rather not, sir. What do you think of this, eh? Oh, sir, what a splendid plaything. One day, when I am rich, I am going to build a world-renowned collection of brightly colored balls. Are you serious? In deadly earnest, people will come from far and wide to see my... Yes? ...collection. The Rockefellers and the Gettys can keep their hordes of so-called fine art. But answer me this. What good is a Picasso, I ask you, if you cannot bounce it off a wall? You may have a point. Sir, for such a marvelous thing, I would gladly help you. I thought merchants were supposed to be wily and never reveal what they really want. Bah! I say to mercantile greed, I have the soul of the Eastie. And I desire that red, bouncy thing beyond reason. Do you understand? Uh, not really. 
If I give you the... I've already told you. I'll help you if you give me the ball. What's it to me? All right, here you go. Thank you, sir. People say bad things about Americans, but you're okay in my book. What people? What bad things? Never mind that now. Remember the brush? Right, yes, the brush. All you have to do with Arto is be polite. It lightens his day, makes it all worthwhile for him again. How can I be polite to the guy when I can't speak a word of Syrian? Arabic. That's what I meant. Simply memorize this phrase. Il ach il kal. Il ach il kal. Close enough. Now, go over to Arto and deliver those honeyed words even unto his delicate ear. He won't be able to do enough for you. Really? Really. So long, Nijo. Toodle peep, sir. I will try not. I do my best not to use a hint. But if I match up these stuff, I can want to make sure I progress somewhat. Hello again, sir. Hello. Kebab? Mmm. Yes. Um, il akul kalb? Filthy! Bad, bad! I'll kill you! Whoa! Calm down! I just... Feet, do your thing! I... Hello again, sir. Filthy! Bad! Okay, okay, I'm going. What the heck did you tell me to tell him? Patience, sir. Patience? Patience? I've been chased by a homicidal kebab seller, and you expect me to be patient? But consider, sir, while you were running from the irate Arto, the irate Arto wasn't using the brush. Hold on. Are you telling me that I've been used as a diversionary tactic? Your brush, sir. I can't believe that you put me on that kebab seller's death list for a toilet brush. The ends justify the means, sir. Yeah, but I noticed it wasn't your butt that was on the line, though. They also serve who only stand and wait, sir. Oh, spare me. So long, Nijo. Toodle peep, sir. Well... We've got that toilet brush. And I am going to say... Um, we've got that toilet brush. We've made some progress. So I'll see you in the next video.